Okay, setting up the camera. I'm taking my seatbelt off. <laughs> <laughs> we are having some technical okay. difficulties. Hi. Hi, can you see me now? This is our third attempt at getting this iPhone thing right, and I'm not sure if this attempt is any better or not. And this is my strawberry air freshener. It smells good. Really good. It feels really... Boo. Oh, was... Jizz. <laughs> me and Jaren are going to sing a song for you guys. No, we're not. I didn't agree to that, and I agreed to talking. You can sing a song. <laughs> she wants to sing now. I'm going to sing... Um... I'm gonna sing you guys the ABCs because I'm a big girl now. That's um, uh, <laughs> um, okay. Or I could sing. Why do you think they're gonna want to watch you sing? Because. Not a legitimate song. Nobody's gonna. Why don't you sing fireworks? With as Katie we Perry. go on, we remember. Yeah. That's a good song. All the times we ha I can't sing had together. I don't know. I don't and know. And as our lives change from whatever, we will still be friends forever. <laughs> Jerry, must be friends forever. Okay. <laughs> You're not in the picture. Oh, okay. You're gonna get in the picture. Okay. <laughs> He's way over there. I by want the, by the window. to download some <laughs> porn. Totally. I want to download some Spice Girls for my car. Spice Girls, oh my gosh. Bright yes. lights. No lights. Finger. I listened to the Spice Girls. Um, when two become one, I will spice up your life. Um, um. Forget their songs. Dude, Jaren is gonna talk about drugs. No, you're gonna talk about drugs. My opinion on drugs is that I'm not gonna tell anyone not to do it, even though some drugs are bad, some hard drugs. I thought I saw a red light. Um, like meth and heroin, crack cocaine, whatever, you probably shouldn't do those, but I mean, to each well, his own. T I guess in the video that never came through yeah. to the video world, um, hmm. I guess I really just think that video, uh, videos, yeah, that drugs are I don't know of any drug that isn't harmful to the human body. Some people say weed isn't harmful. Yeah, but maybe not, so some people think, to every single person who does it. But what about, there are people who smoke marijuana who, or weed who develop lung cancer or maybe some other kind of cancer or whatever. Or, you know, who are quite obviously what they call burnt out, like, you know. Yeah, after they do it for a long period yeah. of time. And a lot of people say... If you smoke it every day, then obviously there's going to be some after effects, long-term yeah. effects. But the thing, I guess, that's kind of on my mind about that stuff is the fact that there are many people who take prescription drugs for different purposes, like... God, there's like antipsychotics, there's like bipolar medication, like mood stabilizers, whatever. There's like ADHD pills and there's, you know, a lot of antidepressants and all these different things that are out there that a lot of people, most doctors will say like, oh, like it doesn't have any effect, it doesn't harm you at all, whatever, but I mean, they can cause like kidney failure, liver failure, whatever. But doesn't <laughs> that only happen if you abuse them? No, it's just if you take them for a long period of time, I guess. Mm -hmm. Apparently, most of them are meant for six months, and that's it. Um, but for some reason, there are people and doctors that are okay with giving people medications for long, for years and years. Twelve years, some people go on these things. Mm -hmm.
and I just, I guess what I'm getting at is if somebody's going to argue that street drugs are bad for your health, at the same time, I think so aren't prescribed drugs. Well, prescription medications, yeah. <clears throat> but I suppose, at least with prescription medications, they have a purpose, even if some people may not be using them for that purpose. Um, and it's more moderated, a lot more, like, especially now, like, um, you know, just the other day I heard a, a story about um, somebody who had been taking a lot of, what do they call it? Um, God, I got so many pill names going through my head. Oxycodone. No, it's, just, it's not as strong as that. It's just oh. Ativan, but they call it something else. Ugh, I don't know why I can't think of this. But basically, this person would get would go to the doctor, and possibly other doctors, in the same little area that we live in, and get prescri get prescriptions for the same or a higher amount of the same pill. Go to one doctor, get a re or go to one pharmacy, get a refill. Go to another pharmacy, get the same refill. You know, within a few days, and um, eventually, they actually the pharmacies set up had a system, not just for this person, but they just kind of operated a guess and got, you know, so that they were all kind of had the same any any patients that they had in common, they would have them on their machines or whatever, and they could see who had taken out what what kind of pills and whatever on what dates and everything, so that if you know if I was to go to shop or drug mart and take out, get like, you know, a, p a bottle full of that one pill and then go to like Sobeys and get the same one, then they're going to be like, oh wait, no, you already got one here today, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So at least like there's things like that in place, whereas um, with most street drugs, if it's available and you have the money, chances are you can get it and it might not be what you, what you intended to get, it might not be very clean. It might not be, like... I don't think they would care. Yeah, they, they probably don't care about your well-being at, mm -hmm. at all. About, you know, whether or not you live or, you know, if it's good for you or if it makes you... Uh, makes you go insane. So... But I still don't think that... Just because a drug is a prescription drug means that it's... Mm -hmm. Any less dangerous? Any less dangerous. <laughs> but I do think that, like, street drugs have always and, and probably always will scare me because, as I spoke about earlier, how unclean and risky and, you know, the drug itself is, like, impure or whatever. But also, because of the dealings, if you, if somebody fucks you over or somebody's having a bad day maybe, According to who it is, according to who you are, mm -hmm. according to, you know, your money situation, things like that, you could end up being injured or killed, like, and it's not, like, professional where you can openly just go into a pharmacy with anybody else there and just get a pill and you know it's clean and it's, and, you know, you know, the companies are supposed to be, it's not like they can just run away and never come back or kill you, they have to own up to it. Mm -hmm. Um... And really, I guess I'm more direct, more or less directing my that why I'm, the, why I'm saying that the way I am is because I'm directing it at specific people who say that it's okay and that it's fine and blah blah blah. And I'm just kind of saying I don't think it is. I'm not not necessarily saying that just kind of out of my the randomness of my mind, like. Yeah. I think. But. I have to say, I do think it would be very easy to become very dependent on a uh, prescription drug. Like all those people on intervention. <laughs> do you watch that show? Yeah, but s especially lately, it seems like a lot of them are very angry and stubborn. Some of them just break down and go right away without any defiance, whatever you want to call it. And then other ones, it seems like they just get right, 
like, what the fuck are you doing this to me for? I don't, you know, I don't have to listen to you. I don't have to do anything. You know, leave me alone kind of thing. And it's just like... Like, how far into it do you have to get that you don't realize you have a problem? Like, I don't know if I would ever be that un unself aware that I wouldn't notice, like... That you have a problem? Like, I might, I might, I would allow myself, probably, to become take overtaken by this drug, but I would I would always be aware of it. I would always be thinking like, you know, it's the drug that's taking me over, blah blah blah. Because I, I think it's because I get kind of claustrophobic sometimes, even like sometimes taking antibiotics and stuff. Because I think to myself, like, I got this this chemical in my body and it's going to be in here for this amount of time and I can't just get it out if I really want to. Like I just I don't know. And I think that about a, a, a street drug, like I would think. I would always be thinking, you know, just be uh, making sure I knew where the exits were kind of thing. Make sure I knew how to get out if I needed to, and I don't know if yeah, I... Yeah, but, I mean, you wouldn't if you're do. that far under, you can't just say, oh, that, yeah, I want to go to rehab, take me to rehab, I don't want to do this drug anymore, it's going to suck think you some, under. I think some people can. Just, some people... Yeah. But I don't think they may they maybe always genuinely think they can. Yeah. I just really I, I really I don't understand drugs at the same time. I feel like I understand them a lot. It's just like there's different sides to the same story and there's different there really is different ways to look at it. So I understand one view but I completely don't understand another. Mm -hmm. But in saying that, I really want to understand more, to be honest with you. By research but or what really makes me kind of mad is that I don't want to be an addictions counselor or anything, even though I really do like that kind of thing. But if I, it would be nice to be an addictions counselor, but I don't think there's enough days in our lifetime to be able to do an, be an addictions counselor and be something else that I want to be and be this that I want to be. Mm -hmm. And I just ugh, I don't like prioritizing. I just want to do it all. Yeah, I just picture people who are addiction counselors are the people who have actually gotten over the addiction or have gone through it and know what they're talking about. Sadly, they're turning the medical, like, hospitals and stuff are starting to turn it into a less and less about the actual addictions counselors and more about trained professionals who chances are have no experience at all with drugs. They just know what the textbook tells them. Mm -hmm. um, my mom, who's been a recovering alcoholic, who's always been a recovering alcoholic, really, uh, you know, in my lifetime, and who's been to, a I've been to uh, detox, like, many times. And she kind of wanted to apply there, and they basically said, well, like, one of the women who wasn't really higher up said, I don't know if you know, but they've been taking a lot of, they've been, hiring and looking for a lot of people that are fresh out of university and things like that, younger people. They don't want older people who have the actual experience. They want people who are trained in psychology and social work and this and that and drug abuse or whatever. That sounds stupid. Well, that's what I don't understand. Like, wouldn't you want somebody who... Who has is been there and done that and... So that they can talk yeah. to the other people instead yeah. of being like, well, so they can relate the, the book other. tells me this kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it's just like... Like, if I wanted to read the book, I would read the book. I don't I want to talk to somebody who I can relate to and who knows what I'm going through. And I don't see that as being a real help or beneficiary. Benef Beneficial. Beneficial. Me neither. Beneficial. Yeah. Anyway, this mm. video is probably over 10 minutes, you know. My video, my YouTube account can hold videos for 15 minutes. Does it feel like it's been 15 minutes? It feels sort of like that, and I want to go home, and I don't want to go home, I want to go back to your house, and I want to watch the movie with you. Yeah. I'm so, gonna... we're going to go back, and we're going to watch the movie, it's called I Spit in Your Grave, and it's really sick and really twisted, and I don't want to close up. No, but it's just, it just like, looks really dark.
my dirt? Can you see my face clearly? 